The chancellor at uh, North Carolina Central University is imposing these insanely strict dress code policies. Now, this is a public university. It is historically black. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, some of the students like to show up to school wearing pajama bottoms. Some of them like to show up wearing baggy pants, baggy shirts, you know, oversized clothing. And, you know, the chancellor has had enough of it, and he says, no, we need to have strict dress code here. We need to make sure that you guys come to class looking presentable. Of course, women are told that they're not allowed to wear cleavage-bearing tops. They're not allowed to wear mini skirts. You guys get the point. Yeah, I I'm against that part. So apparently they, they don't want loose clothing. They also want, don't want skimpy clothing. Now, this pajama phenomenon, I was not aware of this. I'm old school, okay? And we didn't have punks like this when I was going to college, mm -hmm. okay? But I was talking to you and Jr. and all you guys uh, during, one of, and you're saying this happens all the time. It school? does. It does. I've like the kids are walk, you know, walking with this clown outfit. Pajama bottoms. Like my high school was very liberal. They didn't care what you wore, so um, we didn't have a dress code. And kids would show up to class wearing pajama bottoms in my high school. And then in college, there are usually never dress codes in college. And a lot of people would come in wearing pajama bottoms. Like, there was no one that was going to point a finger and tell you not to. And it's because you would have early morning classes, and they would roll out of bed, you know, hopefully brush their te teeth, you never know. And then they would just show up to class. And, I mean, I, I wasn't against it, but I wouldn't do it personally. I don't like it. Yeah, look, I once went to a, I'm living in a glass house. I once went to a, a grocery store in my pajamas, because mm -hmm. I thought that was like the, like, like, whoo, I'm in America, this is crazy, okay? And I got a driver's license, I can drive anywhere, I'm gonna go with my pajamas, right? Ow! Okay, that, okay. <laughs> ow! Okay, uh, was questionable. Anyway, um, all right, but that was once, because I, I was amused by the whole idea, right? Going to class like this on a consistent basis, I don't know, maybe I'm Grandpa Jank on this one. But put some clothes on. You know, JR talked about it a little bit. He's not here today, unfortunately, but he was talking about how people would do it all the time. And when I said, oh, well, now there's a dress code at this particular university, they're not going to be allowed to do it. He seemed a little upset about it. Like, what's the big deal? Why should you not be able to go to class? Like, I could see, like, this is a university, right? You're not in high school. You're an adult at this point. You should be able to wear whatever the hell you want. But I do understand, like, you don't want your students coming to class looking like a mess. Yeah, like, a mess a I don't mind as much as, like, like you come in with, you know, the big floppy shoes and the bulbous red nose, and you're squirting water in everybody's eyes, and people can't concentrate, you know? I mean, I can't have you dressed like a clown. Look, if I was a professor, I probably wouldn't say anything. If I was a chancellor, I probably would leave it alone, right? But, I, but I'd take note. I'd be like, okay, yeah, Casper, the clown, okay? <laughs> I'd be like... Now, I probably wouldn't mark you down for that or anything like that, right. but it's tough to respect somebody when they're coming in, in pajamas, no, right? No, I 100% I agree with you. And remember, when I was in school, I was like, I had to be perfect in everything because I wanted to get the good grades. Oh, so you're I, such I, a nerd. I kept everything into consideration. I'm like, I got to go to school looking presentable. So I would always go dressed in the nines. <laughs> dressed to the nines. Okay, hey. yeah. I, I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> um, and, and the chancellor here, you know, I... He's pulling people in for discipline on a one-by-one -one basis, right? And remember, he, a lot of the people he's pulling in is, are the girls wearing the skimpy clothing. So when I read that part of the story, I was like, oh. I mean, what's going on here, right? Like, oh, let me pull you in here. Let's have a private uh, lecture or something. Mm -hmm. I was like, that guy's going to get in trouble one day. <laughs> okay, but I'm being a bad guy, and he's probably just old school and et cetera. Uh, what, do we have a final ruling? Is he, should he should he do this or not? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty or not guilty for the <laughs> chancellor? No, it's a public university. I'm going to say, I, what does guilty mean in this case? Guilty means he shouldn't do the... Guilty. I, I think he should leave the kids alone. I, it's You're an adult. You're allowed to wear what you want to wear, as long as you're not, you know, too distracting. Okay, you so can't, you can't saying, show up wearing a bikini. So <laughs> n n no balls hanging out. And no nips. Right. If, if you okay. want to look like a clown with pajama bottoms, then look like a clown with pajama bottoms. <laughs> no, but you know what? Maybe he should have just sent out a memo. Say, hey, look, you know, I'm old school, and you can feel free to ignore me. But the reality is you're hurting yourself because sometimes, there, as he says in the article, there's recruiters on campus, mm -hmm. et cetera. You want to look presentable. I say shape up. Okay? That's the way I would have gone.